I will stream on Steam. Sure. Yeah, I'll watch as well. So I will be a new pilot. What should I? What should our name be for this guy? First name, last name. I don't know. It's, I'm not used to it asking for a first name and a last name. Right. Um, I think I'm watch. Hold on, let me open the window with you again. No problem. Oh yeah, it keeps on having this problem where it doesn't let me move the window to my other monitor. Hmm. I want to see my yeah. OBS if it. Oh, it has my APM counter. All that APM. Okay, now I think it's gonna try to load. There should be a windowed mode, if not only a windowed mode. Oh, no, it is window mode. I, I'm just talking about Steam. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you're, you you want to watch... Oh, I, I'm streaming to Twitch. Oh, okay. I yeah. See. Yeah, I thought you said Steam stream. Okay. I'll watch on Twitch. Only because I put an APM counter and I want to make sure it works. <laughs> Obviously, not for this. I want to see how low it is. Yeah, just keep in mind your Twitch stream will be delayed a few seconds. Okay, um, yeah. We can be... Is that not the captain, case for whatever? So why don't captain? we make the first name Captain? You can pick whatever last name you want. Captain. Captain Dragon Bill. <laughs> captain Crunchers. Oh, I skipped through the intro, but I don't know how much you want the story. But basically, you just I, took I out really a loan. You don't, right? You didn't. Yeah, I don't. All right. So basically, what happens is at the beginning, you go and pick one of the three things you want to buy. So on the bottom right, you see you have 480,000 credits. Yeah. These, this is a loan. You don't actually have this money. Um, and any of these interest you in particular? So the shuttle, the relevant things to look at mostly is cargo space and crew slash bunks and the nice thing about this is uh so where is cargo sp oh i see yeah there's cargo these are the most relevant the other stuff's like eh, whatever uh i was gonna say the nice thing is when you die you just continue and i'm gonna exploit that a lot <laughs> fuel capacity basically basic engines take a hundred fuel per jump and it doesn't take any fuel to go within a system the star barge, as you can see, has less fuel capacity. It can only go three jumps, has fewer bunks, but it has 50 instead of 20. I'm not going to play with this. I'm just going to reject it because this is like the noob thing. It costs almost all your money, and you're going to be underpowered in the beginning anyway. <laughs> uh, it only has one. So you have one bunk, and then you have one. Uh, so you have to have one for yourself. So later on, other ships will take more than required crew. One is yourself. Um, so I would recommend a shuttle. What, what, what is the bunks? Oh, well, you can add ferry passengers. So there's three ways to make money in this game. Well, actually, there's two ways. There's missions, and then there's trading. And then there's two types of missions, though. It's like ferrying passengers and then uh, hauling goods. So that's what cargo and bunks are for. Why would you pick the interceptor? Is it just for this is for noobs? Yeah, <laughs> I would not. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Saying this is like if you want to be glorious. As you can see, insurance reports indicate as many as two out of every three first-time ship buyers who chose to pilot despair lose their ship. <laughs> uh. This is a very aggressive playstyle and not one I'd recommend. Let's see. But uh, this one's 401,000. This is the cheapest. So I, high re I highly recommend a shuttle, but we can also go with Star Barge. Your choice. Okay, let's shuttle then. Okay. So I'm going to buy it. What, what do you want to. You can name your ship. Do you want an, any Which preferences? Ship is the default name. Oh, there is no. So. Oh, and I think if you hit OK, it gives it a randomly chosen. Oh, yeah, I guess you could do anti prime. You're right, you're right. So I'm going to leave. And then this guy saying there's a mission. So it doesn't it matter, but basically, you can accept a mission to get some money. 
So that's all I'm doing. All right, so now every planet, and you can see the map, M, oh, the hockey's, actually, let's go over that for now. Um, preferences. So your controls, I just use AWS, I think, or actually, no, you use mouse, um, I think. But the fleet commands are when you have more than one ship, and you can target hostile ships or any ship in the system. You can talk to them and things like that. But the main ones to keep in mind are um, L for landing on a planet and J for jump. These I'm going to autopilot. And also, you can fast forward and caps lock, which I will also be using. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is, as you can see, as I mentioned, it doesn't matter if you die, so I'm going to sell my generator. <laughs> the shield generator gave me 20,000 credits. And then um, these engines are nice, but unnecessary. So I'm going to sell my engines and buy the cheaper ones. Um, what do better engines do? Is it just they let you better? move faster within the space. They let you turn. It ju just makes you more agile. So you can see, like, there's turn. This is, like, half the turn. But it doesn't matter because time's not a constraint in real life. And the last thing that's really important is to buy local maps. So let me show you something. So right now, we know that there are missions to these places, but we don't know how to get there. Um, all these orange dots are possible missions. And right now, the blue dot is something that um, you've accepted because we just said, OK, we'll take you here. Uh, but we don't know anything about Arcturus. And what you can do about that is in um, places with outfitters, you can buy a local map. And so if I press M again, now you see I know things about it. And if I click on Arcturus, I also know the prices of things. So pressing M goes to that screen. Yeah, yeah. So medical is good to buy. And I think that's also what he advised. Uh, one other thing. So yeah. Plus is, mm -hmm. um, what do the pluses and minuses mean? Ah, so the plus means in Arcturus, medical, this is like a, you'll have a profit of 94. It's an estimate. It's pretty close, but not always exact. But right now, as of today, with a little, um, every jump so is a day. If you buy medical here and sell it in Arcturus. Yeah, you'll get 94. But it'll change a little because one day will pass. Um, but it's a good rough estimate. And another thing is on this menu, you can see there's shipyards. So you can see in here, right, this shipyard, blue means there's no shipyard. This soul also has a shipyard, so you know uh, the kinds of ships. The shaded ones means it's not available on the shipyard you're at. So you can see Reticulous, right? We only had these shuttle, star barge, and sparrow but we know of the existence of other ships. And as the game goes on, you'll know about more and more ships. The reason we know about these ships is because I just bought that map. And in Seoul, which is, you know, Earth, they have these other ships that you could potentially buy. Yeah. Um, similar outfitters, you can fit your ships with guns, shoot things, turrets, auto fire. Um, missiles, you just have to buy ammunition for. Uh, if you're into that kind of, so this is kind of like a sandbox. So if you're into fighting, you can go into that. I'm more of an autopilot kind of guy. And there's a bunch of other random system stuff. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I may buy a bunk later for, uh, that just expands the capacity of, it takes 20 ton, tons of outfit space, but then I can have more passengers. But for now, let's just go through the missions because this may be a lot to take in. I, it's just, I just wanted to show you that. This screen will show you, you know, where the shipyards are, where the outfitters are. So these two planets also are There's systems. Why did um, you have two engines, or why did you have to buy two engines? Oh yeah, I did not buy two engines. So what happened was I bought a steering system and a thruster system. So you bo need both thruster to go straight and steering to turn your ship. So sometimes you could have a very good thruster and then you could barely turn. Or sometimes you could have a weak thruster. So, uh, But yeah. Anyway, so that that's that. I'm also going to sell this battery pack. <laughs> I know. So because what's going on is, if you go to the bank, you can see 
there's $480,000 loan and it's 0.4% a day. So every jump is like 2,500. Whereas right now I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna buy some medical first just to make sure and I can just say buy all. And then I'm gonna go to bank and pay back 160,000 of it right away. And that'll drop my daily interest charge. So that much left. And what you can do from the map, you could just say D to go here, right? Uh, or sorry, you click, left clicked, and I'm gonna say depart. And I can stay on this a little. I, you can zoom in, and this is your ship. And I use the air, ah, oh, okay, so it's the arrow keys to navigate. So notice I'm turning very slowly, or how, going how very slowly. What's that? Um, so like, how did it become Wednesday? For example. Oh, every time you land or leave a planet, it leaves a day. Every time you move to another system, it's a day. Otherwise, within a system, time just doesn't elapse. It's always going to be Wednesday so in okay here. It's okay to have a slow engine. So. Okay to do what? It's okay to have a slow engine. Yeah, exactly. Well, unless you're fighting, but we won't be doing that. And one thing you can do, if I my caps lock, now things are speeded up. So we're gonna use it that a lot. So we're just gonna we're gonna go here. We're gonna jump and then press L for landing, and we're in what New do Greenland. You mean by caps lock? Oh, um, so one sec. In preferences, you can see toggle fast forward. I have it set on caps lock, and you can change these to any key you want if you have a preference. So you could change that to something else by clicking it. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I. Show main menu, escape, things like that, right? Um, and then now, I've landed on New Greenland, and there's story and whatever. You notice they don't have a spaceport or a outfitter. We're here. And, but just going to trading, you can see the profit was actually 102 instead of the 94, because one actually two days passed, right? It was Tuesday, now it's Thursday. But that's a okay profit. We'll go to the spaceport, and uh, basically there's someone else. Captain Crunchers. Mm -hmm. So now another job or they need us to go to here. But one thing is we do have an outfitter maybe? No? Uh, I think you can go here. Where do they want us to go? To here. So we don't know how to get there. I see. But I know that food is low, and this is kind of hack source, but I know that you can go through here <laughs> just because I've played a game before. But it's kind of, I think there's multiple ways to get there anyway. But if you can look closely, you can see there's dots yeah, on the map. The they don't necessarily collect anyways, but I'm just going to do yeah, this. You don't know which ones connect. Yeah, exactly. But you can jump into nothingness without local maps as well. And you can multi so unexplored system as you can see. So I can land here now, and I might as well because here you can see there's an outfitter. So I'm gonna do that. Wait, so how are you moving these places? Oh, I'm clicking here, and then D for depart, and J for autopilot jump, and L for land, autopilot land. I see. And how do you set the autopilot destination? Oh, you just click on a map, like left click here, left click here, so on and so forth. So oh, I, have, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So I just go M for the map, click on that. So now I'm our girl. I'm going to buy another local map. And we're going to see if there's other jobs along the way. Not really. So ports, right? This shows the food. Oh, we should buy the food back because it's 200. So even though we just sold it, we'll buy it back. Um, I could have made it in one jump, but I just wanted to buy the local map. And you can see more and more of the maps filled up. And actually, it's a really big universe. And there's a storyline as well. Um, but yeah. How do you know where there are jobs? Uh, so basically, the spaceport has special jobs, potentially. We're still in tutorial mode. Sometimes they'll have a special job. But there's this job board. And you can see um, here. The missions available. There's a missions tab. Gray is there's some requirements we can't meet. For instance, we don't have 40 tons of space. Um, we don't have 52 tons of space. 
we don't have any passenger space right now because we've got these people. But we could go all the way here, right? This is possible, quote unquote, because I have 16 tons of space. It's full of food right now, but I could dump it for some, and or I could rush stuff to here. But I wouldn't accept those missions for now because they're too available, right? I have no idea how to get there. So we're just completing the tutorial for now. Did that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go here. And jump, jump. And land. Yeah, fast forward helps when you have your shitty engine. And they're just, basically it's tutorial, right? So it's telling you how to do things, where to go, sort of thing. Um, and we already know how to go to, oh, and you can see there's more missions actually. So you can click here too, bring tourists to Luna. Uh, before I do when that. You, you can see there's more missions. Was that from the upper left or is there something on the map? Well, you see on the map, there's this orange dot. The orange dot, if it's bright, it means it's completable by you. If it's gray like this, it's the, oh, okay. it's like faded or bright kind of thing. Yeah. Before I accept that though, I want to go to the spaceport um, and make sure there's actually space. Blah, blah, blah. So now, yes. can I still go there? Yes, I can. So, two tourists, we still have two punks. Um, oh, I see. It's on the bottom, yeah. yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to check is it looks like equipment is good to buy. I'll buy some equipment. And we're going to go. Don't worry, it gets more fun than this. <laughs> and I'll land. But as you can see, there's a lot of different other ships. And sell that at a profit. Um, oh, yeah. How do you transport passengers in general? Oh, it's just on a job board, right? And then uh, that was the bunk thing I was talking about, how we took the shuttle instead of something else. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to also yeah. buy a bunk, speaking of which, just to pa buy more passengers. So you can see here I have 52 tons of out space base free still. This will be a worthy investment, just have buying the 40 grand, even though I have only that many credits. I haven't been paying off the loan. I probably should have, but it's fine. Um, and then if I go to the spaceport, oh, it's because, hmm. Oh, I think I landed on the moon. Yeah, I'm on the moon right now. So I have to land, I think? There should be more emissions. Hold on. I'm going to depart. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. There we go. I landed on the moon first, and this is the main mission. I see. So now in the spaceport, I can say, okay, yeah, let's go here. Blah, blah, blah. He wants to go here, and once again, I'm going to buy a local map. Oops. Also, it's B for buy. What's the difference between the outfitter and the shipyard? So the ship, oh, there's no one here. The shipyard buys ships like this. The outfitter just buys parts for your within your ship. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like we have to go here. And there's an outfitter here. So I'm just going to try to go here. Looks like luxury goods are good to buy. And so we'll go there for now. And once we complete the tutorial, we'll do something more fun. Well, I guess I can zoom out. What zoom level do you prefer? Anything at all? Or I could probably uh, slow it down no too. Okay. So I'm buying local maps. It's a thousand each, so it's well worth the cost for information. So you can, we know we can go directly here now. But we'll probably buy another local map here. Just. It's basically the information on the prices is well worth it. So I'm going to buy medical, right? And you can see, um, also I'm going to pay off a little bit, 20, as all these mortgage payments. Yeah. Um, do the interest payments happen automatically? Yes. As you can see, it's paid whatever in mortgage every jump. So it just gets deducted here. So I'll gonna buy a local map. So now we can, once we get here, now we'll know, okay, we could buy food. 
even though it's high here, quote unquote. So this is like if you didn't buy a map, you could speculate, but it's much better to just buy the map. Oh, and then there's another mission here that we could take afterwards. Delivery to Calda. Eh, that's not worth it. I like to have like 10 to 1 ratio. This isn't, it's like 15 or whatever. For a lot of jumps. All right. Uh, this, th and this is like more tutorial stuff. Have you ever met? What does it mean by 10 to 1 ratio? As in... Uh, so yeah. In terms of, uh, let's say there's a delivery, right? 17, I guess 1,000 to 1. So this is like, if I deliver 17, each ton is more than 1,000, but it's a long distance. Let's see, what is this? Theater props. So it's like, like this. This would be good. This is a time. There's a due date here. So I could do that. So I could accept this mission. Um... And a lot of time missions, you get more per ton, but now you can see I have to do it within... Oh, wait, I, this is taking over the screen. I'll just accept it. Oh, yeah, it's right here. So I have six days. Um, when Eat. you click accept, does it automatically start piloting you? or No. You so I accept. First? Uh, yeah, you, you have time. When you accept, because you can accept multiple missions. So now you, it blinking means it's a rush. And then... What is this? Bulk delivery. So we don't know what's there, but that in itself should be good enough. And then we can speculate a little bit and go at a loss. So for instance, we can hope metal is cheap there. And go here. So since it's the fifth, it'll be the sixth when I depart. Actually, I'll just do it, right? It's a six, and it's one, two, three. And I don't remember the exact count, but I think we'll we'll see we'll see. We'll just test it out. And it blinks faster and faster the less time that's remaining. So it is still the ninth. So if you land on the same day, you make it to the system. All right. So oh yeah. So I'm losing a little bit of money, but that's only 110, just because you know it's also low here. So like you, I, I mentioned, so here for instance, there's a heavy shuttle. Which could be interesting, but I don't have the money. Another question is, mm -hmm. um, where does fuel capacity come in? Um, is oh, it just yeah. You have to refuel at some points. Yeah, so you can see if I wanted to, there's four, right? So at the shuttle, I could only go three. Sorry, with the other craft, Star Barge, remember it was 300, so I could go here. With the shuttle, I can go four, but if I wanted to go here, it's it shows red, as in you'd run out of fuel before you get there. So it's. The engine that I have right now takes a hundred fuel per jump, and it'll slowly recover on its own if you're near a star, and you just hover there. But then there's also ram scoops that you can buy. And so once you get to a destination, does it refuel automatically? Yes, when you land, whenever you land, as long as there's something on the planet. There's some abandoned planets in this game too, where it doesn't do anything. But as long as Is you. Is there a downside to like landing in every system? It just takes more days if you're on a rush delivery. Yeah, that's that all. Sense. Yep. So now, oh, well. So a passenger, right? Just having a bunk. This is good. So now um, I'm going to get to a more fun part of the game, it, which is capturing ships. And there's pirates down here. So I'm going to try to make my way there and accept missions along the way. So I'll accept that. We're going to land there. Is this also? Yeah, three miners. As you can see, like the three passengers, 33,500. And I still have five bunks. Do we want to make a detour here? That's all my stuff. So I guess we could do that. So one, two, three. Um, what is this? Wow, that's a lot of diseased meat. Hmm. For now, I'm just going to see, because if I accepted this, notice it's like about 1,200 per ton, mm -hmm. which is a lot yeah. more profit than I'd make. If I just did like, you know, 200 per ton or whatever. Um, 
just in case there's other missions along the way though what what do you think should i take this mission <laughs> yeah okay I think so. yeah probably the right call so now i'm out of cargo space i have five bunks but we'll just go here and go here try to make our way to the pirate system as fast as possible yeah i like the shuttle just because it's maneuverable so we're in safe space you can see nobody's been shooting at us yet he is yet. Farewell. Alright, I have mission cargo, so I'm just checking for missions along the way. That's bulk delivery. Aha. Uh -huh. Tourists. So, five tourists. Okay, we'll accept that. That's where did we're actually trying to go, actually. All the current missions already. Say again? Did it, you fit, oh, I see. You only no, did one of them. Yeah, yeah. So you can see on the right, there's three more. And there's n in this game, there's no penalty for failing your mission. Um, but yeah, what was this bulk delivery? Oh. Okay, and you know we only have one bug left, so we'll just go here. There might be a pirate in this system. I'm pressing R. Nope, not yet. Landing here, doing that. I'm just checking the job board. Oh, there you go. Three more passengers to New China. So good call. Anything here? Nope. So go in there. Oh, what does the job board do again? Oh, that's that's where all the missions are. So oh. every planet that's inhabited, there's the job board, and each planet will have its own missions available. So on the left side, it'll show what missions there are, and you can see oh. by the map. I see. So those are all the missions that start at that planet. Yep. Yep. So each planet will have its unique missions. All right. So what's this delivery? Eh, it's on the way. So one, two, three, four. Sure, it's better than what we would get. Um, but yeah, right now we're just trying to make some money along the way. And speaking of which, let's uh, pay off more of these bank loans. <laughs> so wasted a little bit of an interest, but you can see it's nice to have four jumps sometimes third more. Uh, I'm just checking the price just to min-max a little. Medical is good to buy. Even though it's eight tons. And I'm just fasting for it. Yeah, for a while I thought this was the speed and this is like people are like, oh the engine's so slow. Look how slowly we turn. Uh, but then you can just caps lock and then you're faster. <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh. You can see there's pirates and sparrows. What happens if you die? Where do you respawn? Uh, your last time you landed. <laughs> so there's like no penalty. So I'm gonna buy the local map again. Um, and we're trying to make it here. So we're gonna do one, one jump at a time, I guess. There's really no. I guess we'll go heavy metals here and just see what's up. Because technically you don't know how to get here, right? It's probably this jump. But there's no outfitters closer to buy a map. So I'm just going to speculate. Oh, see, there's pirates. Pirates. And what else is low? Industrial equipment. Food is very low, so I could buy some food. And I'll just direct to this uncharted system and hope for the best. As you can see, there's pirates shooting me, and you can see that one shot got me half my shields. And I'm just going to land. Um, so, outfitters, nothing here, but we're almost here. Question? Um, I was just curious if you buy and sell the same thing at the same place. If it's there's no bid ask. Yeah, there's no bid ask. Okay. Yeah. Um, even though, so I don't see anything that I guess industrial. We'll, we'll speculate on industrial. Um, but we're going here. We're gonna jump. And we're gonna land, and our fun begins now. Because you can see there's pirates. 
and this is where we're going to start capturing ships. Also, on top left, I hadn't mentioned it before, the radar shows like blue is friendly and then yellow is pirates or unfriendly. And you can see there are a lot of unfriendlies right there. This is where we're going to die a lot and slow down. Ah, uh, 32. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my outfitter. I'm going to buy another bunk because, as you can see, we have plenty of outfit space. Oh, it's a small bunk. Okay, here's a real bunk. The small bunk, it's you can see there's uh, only two bunks. The bunk room is four, and there's less outfit space needed. So I could actually buy one more small bunk, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, what else? I, I'm going to buy a local map. And I need laser rifles, because the way hand-to-hand -hand combat you capture ships is it has to be disabled first. Um, I'll show you. You see how this ship, there's this red section. Basically, when you, all your shields are stripped and your armor is stripped until somewhere in this section, you'll just be disabled. Meaning somebody will have to help you because you can't do anything yourself. You could, If you go all the way, you're just destroyed. But I'm going to bank on some pirates being disabled without being destroyed. And crew, they'll just suicide themselves. I'm pressing control to hire all the way. You don't pay anything up front, it's just 1300 a day. And the salaries right now, it's down to 1000 a day, so it's 2300 a day, so I have plenty of money um, to actually pay back the bank a little bit. So, yeah. Now, I'm gonna try to capture some pirate ships. You ask, what am I gonna do without guns? I'm gonna let the blue guys so this is a little tedious, but I'm going to let the blue guys try to kill some of the orange guys. Um, but this is the final part of the tutorial. It's just a final game mechanic. But this is the fastest way to get ahead. You can see I've basically um, paid off the loan already, right? Just through not that much, most of it. But at this point, I feel comfortable to just try to hire some. So I'm going to go away. Actually, um, one other thing is when they jump in, they'll usually go toward the, jump toward the middle. So they're fury. A lot of times they'll be destroyed, so I'll just fast forward. Oop, they destroyed that one. So I'll just hover around, and there's a good target. Hopefully they don't destroy that guy. So I'm trying to hover close, but oh, they destroyed him as well. So it's a, like a patience thing. And you may not want to do this. That's a big ship with a lot of crew. So I'm not going to try to kill that. But you can see there's like a lot of pirates. Oh. I see. So you're just hovering close to ships. And that shows yeah. I can zoom in a little more if it helps. I'm this guy. So there's no reason to target me. Oh, well, I oh guess, uh, dang. I'm just asking if you need to put your mouse somewhere. To nope. Know which I'm pressing R to go to the next ship, and B will board. So this one's disabled. Oop, I got killed. I am dead. But as you can see, Captain Crunchers, you have died. You can just load, save, and you can just load the game to where we started. So there's no penalty. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Saturday. But go ahead. So theoretically, you really just die, but this just is auto save. Yeah. Yeah. Very forgiving. This is why this strategy works. That's also why. I, so basically, as a shield depletes, basically my shield is like armor right now because I s sold my generator. Um, if I really wanted to, I could actually. Uh, oh, one other thing is, as you use stuff, the cost, the functionality doesn't decrease, but you can sell your parts for less and less. Although it's the floor is twenty five percent though. Um, just so there's not too much arbitrage or whatever, but you might want to strip parts. Oh, I forgot to buy laser rifles. I'm stupid. That's why. Um, hmm. I'm also curious, do the weights of components matter? Like if I buy... Yes. So you can yeah. see um, that's part of the outfit space is actually the how many tons it is. So actually it says outfit space. Oh, you mean the mass, right? Yeah. <laughs> sort of i don't know how it technically makes it harder to move i'd only worry about the outfit space outfit space needed yeah okay 
Uh, but yeah, it, it affects some sort of max speed, acceleration, turning. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I wanted to buy a shield generator anyways, mm -hmm. other than the interest on the loan, are there other downsides? Well, no, no. Usually you want one. This is just me being cheap because there's a loan outstanding. Um, oh yeah, the ships also decreased it up down to 25% in value. As you can see, yeah, we're at 90% now. Uh, so I could, but it, again, these generators actually suck. So when I get hit, th this will not save me. It just generates so slowly. So right now I'm just going to hope for... I was about to capture someone, I thought. So you just say, the same if thing. you land, if you're damaged and then you land on a planet, do you get full repair? repair for free? Yep. Okay, so hopefully this guy gets hit. Oh, I'm just hovering. So you press R to target him. Yeah, the next. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm, R is like the next pirate. So that's a big, bigger ship. Oh, he's gone for me. He's going for me. Oh crap. You can see he's launching missiles. All right. And you're moving with the arrow keys. Yes. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. There's a lot of big ships here, actually. OK, that's our target. That's something we could do. Oh, never mind. That's a merchant. We're going to help him just because we're a nice guy. There's also reputation in this game. Oh, I got hit quite a bit. Oh, oh. So this is a little bit tedious, as you can see. But it's only tedious in the beginning. Once you have your own ships, it becomes much easier because instead of relying on people that may shoot you, sorry, uh, may destroy the ship, you can. Lasers will only disable the ship, so you can just stock your ships with lasers. When you said help, you help the merchant. Was that also the B? Okay. Yeah, B for board. All right, we'll just settle for the sparrow. You can see nobody's affecting him, and as soon as you capture it. So this is the thing. You could plunder them, right? Or you could just uh, capture the ship and you get the whole ship yourself and you attempt capture and combat has begun. I can attack. He was only that one guy. I've succeeded. And now he's weak, um, but it'll show up on the bottom left. I'm going to land. I'm just going to speed up. Please, no. Oh, he's disabled. It's okay, okay. We have the ship. Um, so I'm gonna... But didn't you target disabled ships specifically? Oh, yes. What happened was, before he was able to land, another pirate came in and shot him. So he's floating out there, instead of landed with me. So if I go to the outfitter, I still only see myself. Um, I'll show you. But right now, I can, uh, do this. Land again. And then sell some of his parts. So now we have, oh, I was pressed the B key. Okay, so we're almost out of money, which is kind of bad. But now when I go to the outfitter, we have a sparrow. And we can sell some of his junk, like his shield generator. <laughs> so that's a day's pay. <laughs> and uh, like a battery. You don't need a battery pack. And now the other thing you can do is like, oh, I like that fuel cell. Give me that. Oh, wait, I think I have, oh, yeah, I have a double A. I'll take yours. So he needs power. So I'll sell mine as well. But then you can see when you buy, it it's remembers that you sold a shitty one. So this is actually a costless transfer. And he can he can have my mine. Um, what else? He doesn't. Um, if something's at a lower cost, like 25% from being old, does it work? Poorly as nope, well. it works exactly the same. It's purely uh, costing. So this is actually kind of a shitty. You know what? I'm gonna sell this sh ship because it's just actually not worth. It's so fragile. So let's see. Shield. You can see the shield's 1,200, 300 hull. It has half the hull of me and a little more shields. If you look at a shipyard, like what they're fighting up against, these ships have like you know, 2,600 hull, so it's just going to die. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go to the shipyard, click on a ship, and you can just sell the ship itself. And look at that. You can, instead of doing all those missions, you can just capture this. 
again, this p puts us behind. The kinds of ships I was going for were actually the Clippers and Hawks. Um, let me see if there's those ships on the map. Uh, because you, even if you, it's not here, you can see the kinds of ships available. So we're going to want to upgrade eventually to like a heavy shuttle to capture better. Um, but there's like berserkers. I guess this is um, similar, but like an, a real interceptor instead of this whatever shitty thing. Oh, the sparrow, right? can see it's way more shield like this is actually a pretty bad ship still and then um, a light warship right is just more and more so you can just see why I sold it I, I just didn't want it dying unfortunately that does mean we'll have to hire more crew oh yeah crew also automatically rehires but you can fire them manually as well but uh, right now I'm just trying to pay off my loans which is done so now we're just paying 1300 a day for crew but that's about it. Um, basically, you can just outfit all your ships and stuff. Uh, and let me see if there's a mission here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Find out what he wants. And there's a storyline. And it starts on this planet as well, which is why I landed here. Oh, wait. Before you accept, um, you can also see where it is. So he wants you to go all the way to here by the 27th of something. I can't see my calendar here. 27th of January. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, but yeah, that was the kind of spaceport thing. So I always check the spaceport. How much is he paying for it? They won't tell you um, all the time up front. Oh, here it goes. But it's 105,000. And it took five tons is that right oh no here so it's three tons so as you can see it's super lucrative but it is like sometimes really far uh, but yeah that's about it uh, in that case I'm gonna fire the crew um, but like I said I'm done with the tutorial uh, I'm gonna load a different save just so you can see what it's like at toward the end so okay. like dragon milk. If I load the game, I have an end game ship, and I wanted to show you just the stats. This is a cap. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna show you the spoilers. But <laughs> you can see that that's the full map. Um, but I have a lot of alien ships as well. Actually, I only have alien ships because actually the human ships are pretty trash. But this is um. The Aya Yik, uh, as you can see, it has 98,000 shields, 80,000 hull, <laughs> and 1,200 fuel capacity. Not that much crew, actually. But your cargo space is still 44. Yeah, so I this is a fighter ship. Uh, let me see. I can show you a different ship. So there's so cargo ships. Mm -hmm. Is fighting more useful than delivering cargo? Later on, fighting the game, basically, for me. Um, you can So, let's see if there's missions. Uh, uh, yeah. These are my missions. So, once you start killing things, they'll start paying you just to kill stuff. So, you can just accept a bunch of missions. Like, you can destroy a fleet for half a million credits. Stuff like that. Um, let me see. Yeah. And again, there's like no limit, so you can see I have a bunch of random missions. The, these are the completed ones, but I have to land to get the reward. Sometimes I don't care because um, at this point, let's see if there's stats. Uh, enter ship. There's a log somewhere. I'm trying to think where it would be. Missions, log. Yeah, interface wise. Spaceport? No. Job board? Hmm. It might be somewhere else. Log, maybe? Anyway, uh, you can see this is actually 1.4 billion credits, so I don't care about money anymore. And 
there's this is my the sort of top left will always be your flagship and the one you're piloting. So I'm just piloting this ship. Um, and these ships, instead of these hyperdrives or other drives, I put jump drives on them, which just means like on a map. Where am I? Oh, I have a different ship. But basically, oh yeah, this circle is jump drive range. So I could jump anywhere within the, like from here to here. And certain systems you can only jump to, especially alien worlds. Um, and there's like a, a few hidden storylines. So I think because it's open store, so you've only built out the human one, which is really easy. And then there's a harder wander one up here, and they're still working on stories for the others. Actually, they have sort of have a storyline down here, but uh, yeah, you could play just sandbox. You know, if you're into that kind of time killing, you could tr check out the story. This one's actually pretty fun, um, but basically, uh, I'll just show you the stats of some ships. So this is the best human ship, and it's still the best for capturing ships. Uh, because you can see it has, it's like a good all-around ship, and they need a license for it, actually. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. There's, um, basically, most ships you can just buy with money. But then, as the game goes on, you need licenses to buy certain ships. So this ship, uh, to buy, you would need a city ship license. And then certain alien weapons and equipment, you need like coalition license or other licenses to buy. I see. Um, like, and these, this is like, this is the end of the game. Um, and then I have, instead of those dumb rifles, I have better equipment, like capture attack and defense. And this just helps. The attack is like when you're boarding and then defense is if you get boarded or you screwed up and don't want to die. But usually I just like re-roll, right? Because there's no, and you can see, um, I don't remember if you remember the stats of like 12,000 or whatever in terms of the human engines are actually the best, but the better engines, right? It's like 100 or, you know, 10 to 20 times better in terms of thrust and everything. So they're very good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so like this is my main ship. This is my cargo ships have cargo capacity of 1,140, <laughs> right? That's what you were mentioning, right? Or, yeah. and then my fighter ships have this. These are actually bad ones. Here's oh yeah, there's another like mini storyline like the Kestrel in a game. This is like a best human ship there is. It's still pretty bad. Can you show me your fleet moving around? Yeah. Because I've never seen more than one ship move together. Oh wait. Um... I want to see where my fleet is, actually. All right, that's right. I have to unpark all. So you can park sh to not have... They have... They're around a lot of different systems, so let me just park the ones that are not in this system. It's just a portion of... Yeah, you can park your fleet in... Hold on. Different systems. I see. Um, well, it's a load anyway, but basically... <laughs> <laughs> this is like end game with the alien ships, cool. and then you can have them not gather around, and they can spread out. This is gather, ungather, but they'll mostly f follow you. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, and my weapon does AOE damage. There's no enemies here. Uh, but these ships are. A ton of also I think if you click you can see I guess you can't never mind. You can't see their stats. Um but yeah, you can see the Kestrel class ships that are the end game human ships. Um but in terms of stats I'll just show you like that this is by far the best human ship they have. And you can see how weak it is. It's like eighty seven hull, hundred hull with twenty two hundred um, shield, and then the best alien ships are these. Like, there's here's one of them. This is more shield heavy, right? You can see it's like four times the yeah. shield, and then this is more. This is the best alien ship part two, 
actually, um, that's a carrier, human carrier that I just have, but this is like more hull heavy, so it's like tens of thousands. So There's these just like complete dominate. Starting out, um, you can also capture these shield beetles, which are very good kind of entry level capital ships, which 9800 hull, 3200. Um, oh yeah, the easiest way is now that I have the map, I can show you a bunch of other ships. Um, so remember we started with the transport ship, right? The, where's the shuttle? Shuttle. You got 500 shields and 600 hull, right? And then we were talking mm -hmm. about, oh, um, sorry, Borge. Where about? I guess this is a lot of spores, so sorry. So we were trying to capture the sparrow, and then the hawk was what I was going for, and it was like 500 hull, 2,500 shields, just for way more survivability than like double the survivability of a sparrow. And then the light warship wise, uh, like Raven and whatever. But you can just see, like, even within a class. So let me see if there's a. Yeah, just light warship. So this alien ship. It's like certain alien light warships will take out capital ships for humans. Uh, for instance, um, I'll, I'll show you a human heavy warship, right? Uh, a cruiser is only 191600. Like, this is like a really strong ship, but then the alien ship is five times as much hull and so on and so forth. Uh, Derecho, I think, did I not, um, I might not have the final ship unlocked, but that's fine. Or, oh, I think it might be considered a medium warship, maybe? Yeah. You can see just like even the medium warships are way better than the human, like heavy ones. But in the beginning, you'll be dealing with like firebirds and things like that. It's all relative, right? Um, also weaponry. There's the you're taking out things with uh, beams to disable. So you can see like the DPS essentially is 100 or 144. And the weapons actually don't get that much stronger, but a sunbeam, for instance, is like a way more shield piercing. Uh, is this it? Yeah, so the human weapons aren't as bad, I think. I'm trying to think. Electron gun turrets, 3-8 thing. Yeah. These are also human weapons. Sunbeam turret. I think I just forget what weapons are super good. Uh, oh yeah, one other component is missiles are very good unless they have anti-missile defenses. Um, and, or can, and they're dodgeable. Uh, more dodgeable than gunfire. Uh, but also you can buy like nukes and stuff. But basically, and you can see damage wise, uh, it's not showing here. Oh, here we go. This will like vaporize a lot of human ships because it's like 9,000 shield damage, 700 shield hull damage. And it's like a huge area of effect. But then like if you're piloting my alien ships, it won't matter at all. It's like... I guess it hurts a little bit, but like that much damage is what ten percent of my <laughs> nukes just barely touch here and game ships. But yeah, uh, but yeah, if you're in a shuttle, you'll die with your five hundred shield and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, hopefully that. So is it interesting for a time killing? You think or not so much? I wouldn't be offended for now. I definitely want to try it out. Yeah, it's a, it's a. I I like it just when I have nothing to do. Mostly because it's so easy to walk away. It, I the one thing I don't like about a lot of games is like oh one more turn, but here it's just like, literally at any point you exit and you don't feel at least for me I don't feel anything by losing. Like I could just drop it and continue later. Like literally I've sat in a system before just to wait for bodies to pile up to board, right? And uh, I'll make lunch, come back, and then board the ships. Because it's like, like even if I die, it doesn't matter. <laughs> kind of thing, you know? That's cool. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, and the main reason I have this ship is because it can permanently cloak. <laughs> Usually cloaking takes fuel. <laughs> but this, this ship is just an interest. It's like a biological ship that's kind of uh, exploity-ish. Well, not exploited. It's just like you have to know a lot of game mechanics. Um, because it does cloak, you have to be able to capture it before it cloaks and just picks off your ships one by one. Especially since it does AoE damage. But, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy. You can uh, continue with Captain Crunchers, your 500 shield and 600 hull. And that's the other thing, right? Is your shield generators, it doesn't increase the amount of shield you have. It just increases how fast your shields recharge. So, like, when I had such a shitty ship, I'm just like, I, it's only 500 shield anyway. So I'm not going to even worry about it. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. We can stop the stream. Talk to you later.